Hello, this is Keith Brown with the Georgetown County School District, and today I have with me a guest host for this video on using the F3 key. I have the curriculum coach at Waccamaw Middle School, Miss Christy Harrelson. Christy, welcome aboard. Thank you for having me. All right, so here we go. We're going to look at the F3 key. A lot of people don't know what this little tool does, so I'm going to take this screen down for you, and I'm going to show you what it does. So. It's a great way to find out if things on a particular website are appropriate for your students. Uh, I've just chosen Kahoot to start with. I'm going to go down to the bottom, just for example, and go to Terms and Conditions. Now, you don't have to necessarily do this, but this helps me to determine whether or not this is something I want my students to use. So, Christy, if I was going to use this to determine whether or not I was going to have uh, the right kind of thing for my students, what key do you think I would use? I would choose the function F3. Okay, so I'm going to hit the F3 key, or in some cases you might have to go function F key, and it brings up a blank or a box that pops out. I'm going to use uh, something, let's see, if I used the word age, A-G-E in here, and then hit my enter, it's going to show me the times that the word age, or a part of the word age, is in these uh, and these wordings or the terms of service. So I can scroll down and every here, everywhere on the side where you see these little marks on your websites, you will see those words. Down through here, I don't see anything that really says age. I was looking for maybe age 13. I don't see anything down through here. So I'm gonna go back to the top and I'm gonna type in 13, which if you're at the middle school, that's gonna be a great number for you to look. And this shows me that is only one time. And so children, meaning U.S. children under the age of 13 and children outside of the U.S. under 16, that would be the age appropriateness of using Kahoot. So I think you're okay as long as you're using it as the parent or as the opportunity for teachers to use it. You are in loco parentis, which is the law and phrase that means in place of the parent. So you are acting in place of the parent. Uh, Christy, what if I wanted to go to a document and I wanted to find a particular word in a document and maybe replace that? What would, this, what would I use here? You would again hit the F3 key or the function F3 key and the same search box. Okay, so I'm going to hit that same F3 key on my document. Let me see if I can get the, oh, hit the wrong place here. I got the F3 coming up. And I'm going to be looking for the word. Okay, so here is our F3. And I've typed in 13. On this particular document, I'm going to go in. I'm going to type the word course. Course. And every place that course is in here, I might want to replace it with the word class. Or if it's 20. 19 or 2020, you might want to replace it with the current year, 2021 or 2022, whatever it happens to be. You can do that by doing Control H. And Control H, let me go back, that gives you the history. Let me go to Control H on Control H. And I have messed that up. Now I'm straight. So I have Control H, and I'm going to look for the word course and I'm going to replace it with the word class and hopefully I'm going to replace all and everywhere you see the word course you should now see the word class there's class class and everywhere else so hope this has helped take care